I forgot to say for this video. My promise with this video is that you will know whether Notion is for you or not, and why is this important? Well, because certainly you're going to spend a lot of time setting that up. We all have unique use cases, and I can tell by the look in your eyes that you don't want to be spending too much time in an app that finally is not for you. So either your search will finally be over and you will go all in with Notion, or you will be able to discard Notion and you will have narrowed down your search. You like the plan? Let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to separate this in is it for you if and is not for you if. So let's get started with it's for you if. Notion works best when using the computer. I feel that the desktop app is much more advanced than the mobile app. So therefore, if you at least spend 50% of your working time using the computer, this may be a good fit. But this is not the only thing that we need in order to know whether Notion is for us or not. So the next one will have that we have an architect mind. And what do I mean by this? The main symptoms of an architect mind is that you need structure and you feel uneasy without it. Also, you are not afraid to start using an app that is completely unstructured and build everything from the ground up. And probably you even like the building and you don't like to work in predefined environments because you want to create your own. Okay, Notion can be also for you if you care about design. If you normally spend a lot of time tweaking the apps that you are using so they look like you really want, probably you have this designer mindset. Because let me tell you, you will never ever find two Notion workspaces that look alike. Another symptom that you may have is that whenever you are using some default app, like Todoist or Things3, you feel that they are too structured and that this is limiting your creativity and your usage of the app because you need a little bit more and you feel like in a cage. Also, do you care about having multiple apps for different purposes? If you care, chances are that Notion can be for you because with Notion, I was able to reduce the number of apps that I was using from three to just one. So if your brain normally loses information because you don't remember where you save something or and normally you lose things, probably having everything within the same app is going to be very helpful. Also, are you willing to spend time up front setting up your system? If this is not an impediment for you, then Notion is also going to be a good fit. Because truth be said, Notion needs some time to set up. If you don't have in your mind the system that you are going to be building, it's going to be difficult for you to get started in Notion because as I said before, it's a very unstructured app. So it's going to be even harder to get started for you. And all of this is a process. Recently in the Notion Academy office hours that I'm running, we were talking about the systems development timeline. And I can say that on average, it took me a couple of months to really get the best out of Notion. So now how to use this list? If you feel that you match with almost all of them, probably you are a good fit for the app. But let's wait a little bit until I tell you who is not Notion for. Okay, Notion may not be for you if you mainly use your iPad or your phone. As I said before, the mobile app is not very developed. You need hacky ways to move blocks. The databases are messy. I wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I just use it to input data on the go, but that is it. So if your main workhorse is a mobile device, I don't advise it. If the main task that you are going to do in Notion is related to knowledge working, also I don't recommend it. By knowledge workers, I mean researchers or people that are writing books, for example. Notion feels slow and it's difficult to link ideas seamlessly as compared to other apps such as Obsidian or Roam. So if that is your only use, I will use Obsidian or Roam. Also, Notion is not for you. If you want an app with low setup time, also Notion is not the place to look. If whenever you are downloading a new app, you just wanna get up and running, I would recommend you to use Todoist if you want to use a task manager because everything is already built or any other more dedicated apps. Because as I said, the setup time in Notion is quite long. Notion is also not for you if you have a gardener mind. If you have tons of ideas and you don't care where you store them, then using Notion implies that you are going to have some structure in your data because everything is going to be in pages or databases and they all have a location. So if you just want to dump information into the app and then let that information emerge whatever you want it, I would again recommend Obsidian or Roam because they have that unstructured nature that you may be craving for. Also, if you have delicate data on the app, I wouldn't recommend it. The only app that I would recommend for this case would be Obsidian because all your files are stored locally. So nobody except you have access to them. So if this is a concern for you, I will not use basically any web-based app such as Roam or Notion, and I will stick to Obsidian. If you don't have a stable connection or if you travel a lot, 
and you lose connection all the time, then Notion so far is not for you. And why? Because Notion lacks offline mode. We have been requesting this offline mode so many times to Notion, but so far they haven't got it. So if this is your case, I would also just recommend Obsidian because of the local file storage. And lastly, if you are going to use Notion just for one thing, probably Notion is not going to be the best at it. Why do I say that? The beauty of Notion is that you can have everything in your life put inside the app and then you can link everything together. For me, this is amazing. But if you are using Notion just for task management, there is gonna be a better task management app. If you are using it just for research, as I said, there is gonna be better apps for that. If you are using just as a calendar, <laughs> there is better apps for that. But if you wanna have everything integrated into one and only app, with everything linked, then Notion is the best at it. So if after watching this video, you have realized that Notion is for you and you're dreading how long it's going to take you to set it up, you can take advantage of all the time that I have already spent, by now is two years, and shorten that steep learning curve. For that, I have built the Notion Academy, the productivity systems program where we use Notion to build all these live systems and save us time every week. I think on average, I'm saving more than five hours which is around 260 hours per year. And as I know that everybody use cases are different, within the Notion Academy, we also run office hours, which are live sessions in which the students will be able to ask me questions about their unique use cases, and I can guide them towards what to do, how to build, whatever they need. This way, I ensure you that you will have a system that works exactly for you. So you can find a link to the Notion Academy in the description of this video and I will be so excited to dive into your system. So that is it for this video guys and as always, hasta la próxima.